Namaste beautiful souls. This class is going to be a quick, powerful, fiery class all about heating up the body, igniting the third chakra, so the solar plexus chakra, the core center, and really getting strong, fiery, passionate, powerful. When you're ready, I'll see you on the mat. So let's begin today in Sukhasana, easy pose. We are going to have a tough enough of a time later, so let's just start easy. Sit back a little bit farther on your sits bones, lean back a little bit farther in space, lightly engage the core. Roll the shoulders forward, up, back and down. And actually let's do this a couple times. Bring some circulation and blood flow into the shoulders. Maybe they're a little sore from yesterday and the other direction. Come to stillness. Allow the shoulder blades to glide down the back. Gently dip the chin to lengthen the back of the neck and close the eyes. Take this time now to drop in, to notice how it feels to be in the body today, in this moment. And allow whatever has happened thus far in the day or whatever you may need to get done later, allow all of those things to fall to the side. remember that this time that you take for yourself is cumulative and is beneficial so that you can be more productive later when you're done because we need this time to recharge so take a deep breath in through the nose open the mouth exhale Again, through the nose, sigh it out, release, last time in through the nose, and open mouth, slowly sigh it out. Ground down through the sits bones, walk the hands forward now. Come onto the spidey fingers and allow the head to be heavy, the back to round. Noticing where you feel a sensation, any sensation that is not pain. Begin to lengthen the breath. Send the breath deep into the body. Inhale, walk your hands back in and over to the left. Ground down through the right sits bone. And over to the right, ground down through the left sits bone. And back to center, take the opposite leg in front this time. Ground down through both sits bones and walk the hands forward. Come up onto the spidey fingers or the tented hands. Let the chin drop, the crown of the head yearn toward the mat. And continue to send your breath into the spaces where you feel sensation or stagnation. Inhale, walk it back up, and walk the hands over to the right. And 
over to the left. Back to center, sit up. Take a deep breath in and out. And now we'll do something called breath of fire. So breath of fire is a pranayama technique to build heat in the body, to warm up the core and to activate the third chakra center, the solar plexus chakra, which is located right here <laughs> above the navel, sort of in the rib cage area and the lower rib cage stomach area. How Breath of Fire works is you'll take quick passive inhales followed by strong active exhales. And you'll watch your belly button, your navel will slap back toward the spine very quickly. So we'll practice a couple rounds first before we begin. So inhale halfway through the nose. Exhale. Getting ready. And then it looks like this. If you notice, my navel is slapping back toward the spine. You can practice a few times on your own. So the inhale is passive. You're not actively <laughs> inhaling. You're just letting the breath naturally come into the body so you can push it back out again. And practice once more. And it can be slower or faster as you choose. We will do this for about one minute. And if you don't get it right away, that's fine. It will come with practice, with experience. Just do your best. You don't have to do it for the entire minute as well. Just, just do your best wherever you're at today. So bring your hands up to a 45 degree angle. Turn your fingers in, your thumbs are reaching up toward the sky. Relax the shoulders. Inhale all the way. Exhale all the way. Inhale halfway. And begin. Almost there. Last five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, bring the thumbs to touch the top, extend the fingertips, hold the breath at the top for as long as you can. Squeeze the pelvic floor up and in, eyes gaze toward the third eye center, the space between the eyebrows. And when you're ready, release the breath, release the hands, bring the hands face up on the knees, keep the eyes closed. Allow the body to notice any difference perhaps. Allow the mind to release any judgment or negative self-talk, if any did arise. Simply observe the way your body feels now. Excellent, inhale, blink the eyes open and walk the hands to the front of the mat, tabletop. Inhale, drop the belly, paint the tailbone toward the sky. Exhale, round the back, cat cow pose. Inhale, heart space moves between the biceps, spread the fingers wide. Exhale, round through the back. 
Inhale, drop the belly, tailbone lifts. Exhale, tailbone paints toward the space between the knees. And come back to center. Take the hands directly underneath the shoulders. Come onto the toes, lift the knees off of the mat. And swing the knees to the right and to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. March the knees toward the space between the elbows. One, two, three. Keep the knees up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pendulum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. March. One, two, three, four, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. March. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Press it back. Downward facing dog. Whew. Really waking up the core today. I promise you a strong core workout. Spread the fingers wide. Internally rotate the triceps toward the face. Turn the inner elbow crease toward the front of the mat. Lengthen the back of the neck. Shake the head. No, really release the back of the neck. You can keep the knees bent, of course. Navel sucks up and in. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, rock forward to plank. Right knee to right tricep. Inhale, kick it back. Three-legged dog. Exhale, plank. Knee to tricep. Two. Kick it back. Three. Four. And five. Squeeze the knee between the elbows. Step it through. Inhale. High lunge. Press the left heel away from you, engage the core, stack the shoulders above the hips, relax the shoulder blades, fingers energetic. Big inhale here, and exhale, plant the palms, step it back to plank, bring the belly to the mat, squeeze the elbows together, inhale cobra. Notice if your shoulders are up by your ears, bring them down the back. Exhale, release. Press it back, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, knee to tricep in plank. Inhale, kick it back. Exhale, squeeze it in. Two, whew. squeeze the obliques. Three, four, and five. Squeeze the knee between the elbows and step it through. Inhale, high lunge. Press the right hip forward, left hip back, bend more deeply into the left knee. Maybe bend the right knee to bring the hips underneath the shoulders. Engage the core. Grow taller through the crown of the head. Big inhale and exhale, plant the palms. Step it back to plank, belly to the mat. Inhale, cobra. And exhale, press it back to downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, kick it back. Knee to left elbow. Two. Three. Cross body twist. Four. And five. Knee between the elbows. Step it through. Inhale, high lunge. Take the hands to prayer. Hook the left elbow on the outside of the right knee. Prayer twist. Press the left heel away from you. Try to square the hips. Relax the right shoulder. Inhale, grow taller, lengthen the spine. And exhale, twist a little more from the navel. Excellent, take the left hand down. Right arm up, easy twist. 
and plant the right hand down, step it back, plank. Bring the knees to the mat now, chaturanga to upward facing dog, to downward facing dog. Like we practiced before. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale, kick it through, or kick it up rather. Exhale, knee to elbow, two. Three. Four. Last one, five. Knee between the elbows, step it through. Inhale, high lunge. Hands to prayer, prayer twist. Take the right hand down, left arm up, easy twist. And bring the left hand down, step it back, plank. Knees to the mat, chaturanga. Place the feet down, lift the knees, lift the heart space. Upward facing dog to downward facing dog. Inhale, rock forward to plank. Bring the forearms to the mat, forearm plank. Now, from here, we're going to do breath of fire once again, but in forearm plank. So do your best. If you need to bring the knees down, do it. But do your best to keep your, keep your knees up if you can. Ooh, this is gonna be tough, okay. <laughs> forearm plank, inhale all the way. Exhale, inhale halfway, and begin. Last five, four, three, two, one. Drop the knees, press it back, child's pose. Mm. Inhale, rock forward, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, rock forward to plank, knee to nose. Inhale, kick it back. Exhale, knee to nose, two. Core tight. Three. Spread the fingers wide. Four, Woo. knee as high as it'll go. Last one, five. Squeeze and step it through. Inhale, high lunge. Take the hands behind you now, clasp. Open the heart space, walk the fist down the left thigh, back bend, look up. Big breath here. And exhale, humble warrior. Bring the head down towards the right ankle. Press the left heel away from you. Lift the fist towards the sky. Inhale. Come halfway back up, torso over the right leg. Turn the right shoulder up to the sky twist. Move the fist away from you. Press the left heel away from you. Drop the left hand down, right arm up, easy twist. And then bring the right foot on top of the left side plank. For three, two, one. Reach up and over, plank. And Yogi's Choice. Chaturanga to upward facing dog or continue working on your level to downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, knee to nose. Whew, squeeze it in. Inhale, kick up. Exhale, squeeze it in. Two. Three. Four. Last one. Five. Squeeze it a little higher. 
and step it through. Inhale, high lunge. Take the hands behind, reverse the clasp, open the heart space, look up, smile. Big breath in and exhale, humble warrior. Love this pose. <laughs> Press through the right heel, open across the chest, the collarbones. Inhale, come halfway up, torso over the left leg, and open the left shoulder up. Twist. Press the right heel away from you. And drop the right hand down, left arm up, easy twist. And bring the left foot on top of the right, side plank. Whew. Lift the hips, lengthen the tailbone towards the heels for three, two, one. Reach up and overhead, plank. Yogi's Choice, a vinyasa, and meet me in Downward Facing Dog. Take the left hand to the center of the mat, right hand to left ankle, look under the left shoulder, twist. Switch sides, right hand to the center of the mat, left hand to right ankle, twist. Back to downward facing dog. Inhale, rock forward to plank or forearm plank. We'll do one more set of breath of fire in your plank, whatever that may be. So come into the plank, inhale fully. Go as long as you can, as long as you can, and then meet me in child's pose. Okay, inhale all the way. Exhale completely. Inhale halfway to begin. Child's pose. Good job. However you did, however many you did, it doesn't matter. Nobody's counting. What matters is that you show up for yourself on the mat and you try new things. Rock forward to tabletop and come to sit on your mat, cross-legged pose. Take the left hand down, reach the right arm up and over, side bend, squeeze the left elbow in toward the body, ground down through the right hip. And the other side. Back to center, take the left Leg down, right foot on top of the, or rather right foot on the outside of the left knee. Ground down through the right big toe, right hand reaches back. Inhale, left arm lifts. Exhale, twist, hook the left elbow on the outside of the right leg. Cross down through the right big toe. Maybe look over the right shoulder, maybe not. And switch, take the right foot down now, left foot on the outside of the right knee, inhale, right arm reaches up, exhale, twist. Cross down through the left big toe. And come back through center. Take the soles of the feet to the mat and roll down onto the back. Take the hands now underneath the booty. Palms of the hands on the mat. Squeeze the shoulder blades up underneath the heart space. Press the lower back into the mat. You'll really start to feel the core engaging here. 
lift the feet above the hips. You can keep the knees bent as well. But really focus on keeping the lower back on the mat. And now drop the feet as far as they'll go before you lose that connection with the, with the mat, with the back, and lift back up. Inhale, drop the feet. Exhale, lift. Inhale, drop, leg lifts. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Keep it up. Eleven. Twelve. Press the lower back into the mat. Don't lose the connection. Thirteen. You can, of course, bend the knees. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Keep it up. <laughs> Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. Thirty. Draw the knees into the chest. Good job. Good job. Are you burning? <laughs> Are your abs on fire? All right. Give yourself a big hug. Rock back and forth on the lower back. Massage the lower back. Now draw the knees in towards the armpits. Glide your hands down to the ankles or to the outer edges or inner edges of the feet. Happy baby. Flex the feet toward the sky. Now take the soles of the feet to the mat. Feet hip distance apart and parallel. Press the elbows into the mat. Lengthen the tailbone towards the heels and lift the hips. Bridge pose. You can also clasp the hands underneath you. Press the feet away from you. Heart space moves toward the chin. Hips move high. And release. Take the right knee on top of the left. Press the left foot into the mat and move the hips over to the right a few inches. And then allow both knees to fall to the left. Reach the right arm at a diagonal up to the top of the left of the room. Move the knees a little farther away from you. Supine twist. Back through center, press the right foot into the mat, left knee on top of right. Lift the hips and move them over to the left a little. And then allow both knees to fall to the right. Gently press the knees away from the face, so door down toward the bottom of the mat. Reach the left arm up at a diagonal towards the top left of the room. back through center take the legs long point the toes reach the hands above the head stretch like it's the first stretch of the morning and then release the hands to the side let the feet be as wide as the mat the toes fall to the left and the right 
Allow the heels, the hip points, the shoulder blades, the back, the head to melt into the mat as though it is a cushion or your favorite mattress or a cloud. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Release. Release the breath, release the body, release the mind. And stay here for as long as you're able, really reaping the benefits of this practice, this energizing, fiery practice. And I'll see you very soon with our next practice together. From my heart to yours, namaste.